Hey, welcome to a brand new series covering DirectX. This has been a long-awaited task that I've been working on. And this series will cover the basics of DirectX, getting everybody comfortable with using DirectX instead of XNA, and using C++ instead of C Sharp for our development tasks. This series will be using DirectX 9. I just wanted to mention that as the first thing I do in this series, that we will be using DirectX 9, not DirectX 10 or 11. We will worry about that at a later date in a different series. Since we're going from XNA to DirectX, it is a nice stepping stone since XNA is based off of DirectX version 9, it is a nice stepping stone that we develop using DirectX 9 as of right now. Once everybody's comfortable with using DirectX 9, we will jump into DirectX 10 and 11 features and worry about all that stuff. Okay. This series will assume you have some C++ knowledge. You don't need to know everything about C++, but some C++ knowledge is required either from watching my C++ videos or learning that knowledge elsewhere. That's up to you. I will not assume you know how to use the Windows API, you know, creating a Windows uh, a window and handling messages, you know, translating messages and dispatching a message how to do all that stuff, that we will cover in this series. So you do not need to worry about how to handle the Windows.h header file. I will also, since this series is DirectX, I will also assume you don't know DirectX programming, which is why I'm making this series. So the only thing you'll be required to know is some C++ knowledge. Alright, so this video is we're not going to do any programming or go into Visual Studio or anything like that. This video is just to discuss what the series is about. The fact that I'll be using DirectX 9 instead of the later DirectX versions as of right now. And how to get the DirectX SDK. So what you want to do is you will want to get the DirectX Software Development Kit from the Microsoft website. And I'll put a link to this in the description. You want to make sure that it is the June 2010 edition. The DX SDK June 2010. So you'll download that. You'll install that. That will install to your program files directory. Now, if you do receive an error message, uh, it's pretty common that you will receive an error message. And if the error message is S1023, that error message is a result of you having a updated Visual C++ redistributable on your computer. So if you do receive that error message, S1023, if you do receive that specific error message, the reason is a updated S redistributable is on your computer. All you need to do is uninstall it. Then install this SDK, and then install whichever redistributable you had. So the June 2010 SDK installs version 10.0.30319 of the redistributable. If you have any version higher than that, this will fail. So this mentions you can remove the redistributables by using the add and remove programs and control panel. Or you can run the following commands, uh, the add and remove and programs and features uh, makes it much more easier. After uninstalling the, the products, you may install the SDK. And then this mentions after installing the SDK, you may then reinstall the current version of the C++ redistributable package. I'll put a link to this support article in the description as well. And... Uh, that's just in case you run into that issue. I ran into that issue. I've installed Visual Studio 2010, then Visual Studio 2012, and then I installed some Steam games that came with a C++ redistributable, but I think those were 2008 or 
2005. I do not remember a 2010 being installed, but it very well could have. So at any one of those specific points, and the fact that I'm running Windows 8, that might have made me receive the updated 2010 redistributable. So just keep that in mind if you have a lot of video games or Steam uh, games like that. If you have any Visual Studios and you've done Windows Update and got everything all updated, uh, you might run into this issue. Okay, so let's recap. This is a very quick t video. It's not a tutorial yet. This is why I marked it as Tutorial Zero. Very quickly, we will be starting with DirectX 9. The first thing we'll do is cover the Windows API, how to display a window, how to give it a title, and how to give it a class name, and how to set up the width and height and the positioning of it, and how to worry about a receiving messages from the operating system on how to handle the, the window. This will all be discussed in the next tutorial. And we will not be doing any DirectX in the next tutorial. It's all going to be covering the Windows.h file and our uh, ground floor, so to speak, on what we need to do to get things going. The tutorial after that will discuss initializing the Direct3D device and getting that all displayed. And we'll set up a nice background color that we will know it's working. And then the tutorial after that, we will worry about drawing a PNG file to the game window. And then after that, we'll go more in depth, you know, drawing a strain to the screen by using the uh, DirectX, you know, draw text. And then we'll worry about moving sprites. Then once that's done, we will convert all these, we'll cover all the basics. And then we'll get to all these. Now the paddles and the space shooter do not have any sound or video. So I will not discuss those. Basically what I'm trying to say is that any additional concept, the tower defense has sound. So any additional concept will be brought to your attention in a basic DirectX tutorial manner. These are going to be a DirectX series as well. Kind of like my XNA tutorial series, if you've been following the site for a while, I had an XNA tutorial series covering a whole bunch of topics. And then while I did these, you know, complete game series, I also com extended the basic XNA series. So if I'm in the middle of a Paddles tutorial series covering DirectX and C++, if I'm in the middle of covering Paddles and I want to discuss audio, I'll release a dedicated audio tutorial to where if you don't worry about, if you don't want to create a Pawn clone, you can watch the audio video and learn how to use audio. So any of the concepts, any of the basic concepts will be all in a contained tutorial or a series of tutorials, depending on how complex the topic is. And if you're interested in learning how to create a pawn clone from start to finish, creating a simple space shooter from start to finish, and creating a tower defense game from start to finish, you can go into those series. So I'm going to have a lot more series. Uh, this is just the Master DirectX series. Any of the basic concepts will be discussed here. No game will be produced. It's just going to be a basic window with a concept. You know, a basic window drawing a sprite. We only draw one sprite. We're in the Space Shooter series. We might draw 20 sprites. Or discussing audio. It's just going to be a basic window. You press the Enter key and it'll play a sound. Or press the M key to play a music file. That's all that will cover. It will not be a game. It will just discuss the basic concepts. If you want to see the games, you'll have to go into one of these 
Paddle Space Shooter Tower Defense series. Okay, so that is my plan for this series. We will start with these three games, and then we'll go into 3D after that fact. Right now, we'll stick with 2D for now, and then 3D after this. Now, once we do a few things in 3D, you know, at least one game in 3D, after that, we'll go into DirectX 10 and 11. So if you want to wait until DirectX 10 and 11, I know it's new technology and people want to learn it, uh, you can wait for the DirectX 10 and 11 series to start. But for now, it will be DirectX 9. I will label it as such, so you will know when to watch a DirectX 10 video. All right, I hope you enjoy the series. I have spent a lot of time thinking about topics and getting things done. I have a few tutorials in advance uh, finished for the coding side of things. So I'll just need to make the video and code it in the video for you guys and discuss what we're doing. So next video, we are going to discuss the Windows.h file and get the Windows... API going, creating a window, handling messages, and handling, uh, dispatching, translating, and all that stuff. Alright, stay tuned for the next video, which will actually be a tutorial, and we'll jump into Visual Studio. I will be using Visual Studio 2012 in this series. You're welcome to use Visual Studio 2010. You're welcome to use any other compiler of your choice. Just know, if you have any issues, I'll be using Visual Studio 2012, and that will be more of a chance for me to help you out if you do have issues. So I hope you enjoy this series. I spent a lot of time getting this series out and getting it ready and coming up with topics, discussing it with other developers, seeing if DirectX 9 was a way to go or jumping into DirectX 10 and 11. A lot of people said DirectX 9 is a nice stepping stone since XNA is based off of it, so that's what we'll be doing. It was a lot of discussion and thought on my part to find out what to discuss. So next video, we'll discuss the Windows API. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in Tutorial 1.